Well, you've made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? Which was Henry Bears. But the big bed was... Now I lay me down to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. Excuse me, I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorine and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either, and that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, <laughs> at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Bonchon? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. Lodge's hole. That's where they've quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run, ah! if you don't want to end up like him. I think he's about to go. Ah! Can't we work something out? No?
all right. I've seen an apple go rotten in my hand. You can't have our water. There's no room for you here. Huh? to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. It's fucking stuck! Roger! What did you do to the fucking valve, huh? You over-tightened it, didn't you? Jesus fucking Christ. Why'd I have to fall for a stupid fucking mechanical imbecile? I told you to leave the plumbing the fuck alone! Fucking eyebrows. It's always the fucking eyebrows. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone. Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. And, well, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. <laughs> Would you like this? Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh, you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage and impedimentis to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... when you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German! You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German! It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise.
lovely day for it. No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or peepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. And no, I don't work for them. You're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm. How? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, Open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Either she's as brilliant as Sally, and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? What did I want to be when I grew up? I can't remember. Isn't that awful? Hello. Getting enough sleep. It's important to sleep. Mm. 
Well, it was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Motilene, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. Cells. I could fill them up too. the general, Sally. That's fa fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. When did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? He was trying to get out, and something ripped him apart. What a jolly place to go exploring. Mustn't go down without a torch. If someone's gonna kill me, I wanna know who it is. Good thing I've got my trusty torch. I like to know who's trying to kill me. to disagree. I better patch this hole up before I have any uninvited visitors. I guess someone got out that way. 
which means someone could get in. I better patch this before I get unwanted guests. Good. Now I won't need to cross bridges to get here. I feel sort of bad. their home. I suppose I don't feel bad enough to turn off the lights though. Bicycle built for two. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, for I can't afford a carriage. But you'll I don't seem to be in the mood for a rational conversation, bicycle built for two. Sweet. 